Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody around the world. It is amazing today because I am in a remote location. I'm at my daughter and son-in-law's house in Concord, North Carolina, uh, celebrating the fact that Stacy, Erica's twin sister, will be moving to Concord within the next couple of months. I'm so happy. All of the family will be within 20 miles. Cool. Now, that's a celebration all by itself, but this morning I wanna celebrate something that will touch every single one of you in a very powerful way. And you may not understand that it's a gateway to building deeper relationships with someone else, having or creating shared values. Uh, behind me, you can see some gold records and platinum records. Matt Abrams, uh, Erica's husband, his father was uh, in the music business and helped manage and was an agent for several very, very famous groups in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. And when they gave gold platinum records, he got one. Look at them all. It's amazing. And so I was looking through all of them today. And one of them is a song called The Letter by the Box Tops, which came out in 1967. How do I know that? Because in 1967, I was in Berlin, Germany living, and that song played all the time, and it is my throwback song. I can go right back to 51 Wilmersdorfer Straße, and I'm right there. I'm, I'm getting uh, food across the street, the bakery. Everything came into 100% clear focus by looking at the title of a song, not listening to it, just looking at the title. I can promise you this. When you are in a, a room and you hear a song and the song reminds you of something, your mind just blanks out for that one second, maybe 10 seconds, or maybe you tell a story about it, maybe. So what I do is I try to find songs that I have in common with other friends or clients of mine. And I send that. Or I know they like rock and roll, so I'll send some rock and roll thing. Lately, I've been sending Brian Ferry, uh, Dire Straits, and uh, ELO, of course, and um, Bruce Springsteen. My son was a big Bruce Springsteen fan. And the one that I really love is uh, growing up in Australia when you bring some kid out of the audience and the kid just knows it has Stone Cold does this duet with him that's classic. I mean, literally it makes you want to cry. So I send those things out to other people who love them. They're thanking me back and forth and it's just, it's, it's unreal. So think about the music that means something to you. And if you're lucky, You'll have clients or friends that it means something to them also. Send it. Just go to YouTube, watch the live video, copy the link, send it to somebody else on text, and boom, you win. I mean, boom, you win. People, you'll be texting back and forth all day. Well, oh, yeah, and someone will send you something. I always get stuff back, always. It's totally, totally cool. All right, let's go to the group and let's see what's happening in your musical world. What do you send? What's your favorite music? What's your favorite music video? And what does it mean to you? Think about that. Just think about that and think about your customers and why don't you know what their favorites are? Hey, what do you listen to? Oh, I love the blah, 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 blah. Isn't that crazy? I pulled that out of the cabinet. My shirt this morning says, I may be old, but I got to see all the cool bands. And you didn't. I've seen Pink Floyd live. I've seen Jethro Tull live, Emerson Lincoln Palmer live, ELO live, Brian Ferry live. Every, everybody who grew up in the 60s and 70s, I saw them live. I went to every concert I possibly could. The calendar in our kitchen, when Stacey and Erica were very young, 
had only had concerts on it. Because, you know, if you live in Philadelphia, it's the music capital of the world, even though the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame doesn't exist there, which is a stupid thing in the world. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> this is cool. Music makes you think and remember. Send some. Yep. Williams, how's it going, bud? Inspiration from Joachim this morning. The crown and glory of life is character. It is the noblest profession of a man, constituting a rank in itself and an estate in the general goodwill. Dignify every situation and exalting every position in society. Whoa. Come on. This is so cool. Samuel Smiles is it. Morning, Larry. Joachim. Attention, application, accuracy, method, punctuality, and dispatch are the principal qualities required for the efficient conduct of business of any sort. Value might, <coughs> excuse me, value might be in there too. They are the little things. It is true. But human life is made up of comparative trifles. It is the repetition of little acts which constitute the sum of human character. Samuel smiles. Way to go. Beck, thanks again for the cards. <clears throat> Super Saturday. Writing leads to wealth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to take that one. Isn't it so interesting? I had the topic as I was driving here this morning, and I asked Matt if I could go into his office, and I realized, oh, wow, there's all the gold records. Everything's going to match this morning. Like I had it planned, but I didn't. Just all the serendipity stuff, the U-Rock cup, the gold records, my shirt, music, what it's all about. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going down music rabbit holes all day today. The secret to communication is not just engagement. It is intelligent, emotional, friendly engagement. Little Platinum Book of Cha-Ching, you're exactly correct, sir. You're exactly correct. Kuna, what do you got to say this morning? Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. Whoa. Yep. Let's see what she's got. To do. I'm going to save this. Who is this woman? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Isn't it cool to find new things and new people? You know it is. Of course it is. Uh, by the way, I had a meeting with my publisher yesterday, and guess what? They're going to start to do more promotion. And in part, thanks to you guys for sending nice things about go live or get shit done. <clears throat> I told him, I said, you know, at some point you have to pick a winner and fly. Who knows? Uh, who knows what they do and why they do it? We're going to have a great day today. Ingrid, what's up with you, honey? Thank you very kindly. I'm going to break my screen up a little bit more. Oh, that's it. Wow. How about that? Anthony? Yep, uh, back in Philly this weekend. Very nice. Have a steak for me, please. Please. Philippines is here. And of course, our friend Toru is here. Where do you go, Toru? Skinner, hey, hey. Randall from Trinidad. Thanks so much for your continued giving. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Buckminster Fuller. I'll tell you, that guy has followers, man. Unbelievable followers. Greetings to you, Brian. Carabas County, great place to live. Oh, Cabarrus County, sorry. <laughs> Carabas is a restaurant. The only place where your dream becomes impossible is in your own thinking. Woo, Robert Schuler. Dallas? What are you doing down there, honey? Yep, the universe is here. A very cool display of gold records. I agree. It's totally cool. It's very, that's, you know, Matt's dad passed on a number of years ago. And you always somehow keep the memory of your father in the forefront of your mind. And in Matt's place, it's his vision. It's, it's, I have a lot of respect for him for that. Very cool display of records. I agree, Louis. I have plans for you. Yep. Thank you. 
I'd like to know the other songs. They are predominantly R&B songs from Philadelphia metropolitan area, Teddy Pendergrass kind of songs. Is this a room in your house? No, it's a room in my daughter's house and my son-in-law's house. It's my son-in-law's office. He sells $50,000 steel buildings on the phone. Boom. I'm at the box tops. Where to go? Get me a ticket on an airplane. Love this room. It's, it's way, way cool. It's totally cool. And Brazil has checked in. Morning, Gitmer Nation. Good things are going to happen. I totally agree. Although, <laughs> my kids are having a watch party downstairs. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, Boulder, Colorado, people don't buy features and benefits. They buy relationships. Totally 1,000% agree. 1,000% agree. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look who's here this morning. Dude, the pig is flying. Pink Floyd concert in Vancouver. Love that. Now I got to find where the hell I was. Oh, my God. There's so many. There we go. Boulder's here. Jason, read the first 30 pages of Truthful Living. Yes, they rocked me. Could feel, exactly. Exactly. Uh, why doesn't everybody, if you're, if you go get Truthful Living, please. T-R-U-T-H-F-U-L Living. Napoleon Hill. If you get the audio book, I'm reading it. It's unreal. It took me so long to read it because I didn't write it. Cypress is here. I'm so happy about that. Jim is here. Music makes me happy. Another form of communication. I totally agree. I totally agree. Good morning from clear but cold Seattle. Going to going to be on my Peloton. Started to sell her down. Oh, cool. Cool. Very well done. And Renee, what's up with you? Beverly Hills. Boom. Way to change your perspective. JG, room looks great. Good morning, 949ers. 959. That's okay. And allowing a 959 community to be a part. Music is the universal language. Rock on. <clears throat> Comfortably numb came on while reading. Remember you talked about it. I love that song. I, it's such an anthem. And when they play the first two or three notes, the audience goes berserk. But they pretty much do for every Pink Floyd song that comes on. Yeah, music is so powerful. Music can make you cry, man. All my business travels revolve around taking a client to a concert. Wow. Best business concert, 2006, Tom Waits Glitter. Cool. Totally cool. An opera on NPR triggered me to come. Oh, my God. So good. It's so good. Live from the sauna. Hey, Gaskell, thank you again. Music is an anchor. The soundtrack of our lives. I, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Of course, the Led Zeppelin live. Of course. Of course. <clears throat> you know, it's interesting. Jimmy Page's performance is... Unbelievable, but his style of performing doesn't match the the depth of his of his capability. I mean, if you look at at um, other performers, other lead guitar performers, they seem to play a little bit more. Um, I don't know. They're they're performing more. Jimmy Page is like walking around. Anyway, just my. Miles Davis. I've seen Miles Davis. Miles Davis is so. I saw him in Berlin, Germany. Unreal concert. Unreal concert. Had people screaming. And at the end of the concert, people are laughing and applauding and sitting on their chairs and going nuts, wanting him to come out and do an encore. And some guy comes out about 10 minutes later and says, Miles Davis doesn't do encores. <laughs> Boom. This is 1967, by the way, just to date it. Billy Joel, amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> Steve Winwood is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can't find my way home. Can't find my way home. Makes me cry every time. Ah. <sighs> Highwayman is a good one. Of course. Everyone has their thing. River of Dreams. Billy Joel. Like, look, look it. Look it. Come on. 
Pleasure. Great shirt. Thank you. People are saying hello to each other. It's not rock, but feeling good is my start the day song. Cool. See, everybody has it. Everybody has it. Music, man, too much to say. Music is my life. Exactly. Looks like it from your from your emoji. Killing me. You saw all those bands I listened to growing up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I I went to more concerts. You have no idea. And then became friend, I, we did a uh, concert with ELO, like I promoted it, and I became friends with them. And so we traveled all around the country to go see him. And Stacey and Eric were four or five at the time. It took them to see him all the time. I mean, we were friends. We were in the dressing room friends. Did you go to Woodstock? No. We make the world we live in. Yeah, I did not go. Oh, wow, cool. And shape our own environment. This is cool. JR, I did not go to Woodstock, but I know a couple of kids who did. It was, uh, well, you know what it was. He went to the mess. Yeah. We make the world we live in and shape our own environment. I agree. I can see clearly. Yeah, I love that song. I love that song. <clears throat> Billy Joel, The Four Tops, Frankie Valley. Jersey Boys. I'm telling you. There's certain things when they play, when when Jersey Boys played, and they're playing, they come out and play Sherry as the first song. It's like you you cry, you totally cry. I've been to oldie rock. I've been to oldie concerts. That's too much for me sometimes. Uh, look at that. Not dead yet by the bad examples. Cool. Yeah. Some really good stuff here, exactly. Brian Monahan posted something about the song Jay French, Thunder Island. I love Thunder Island. It was um, by Spirit. Do, 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 do. That's a great song. Music brings back memories that make you smile, cry, or laugh. I totally, 100% agree. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Do you play an instrument? Yeah, I played the guitar for a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't maintain the piano either. My brother did though. Yesterday, somebody else, come on. Isn't this cool? Love the growing up live with, with Bruce. Best version was from a Cleveland radio station. It was a junior high school. Oh man. Wow. Come on, send it to me. Fame. Come on, send it to me. Clarence's sax solo, yeah. That guy was unbelievable. You know, I, before he passed, um, I flew on an airplane with Clarence Clemens and gave him, and I knew he was ill at the time, and I gave him a copy of the S Attitude book signed. You never know. You never know. Blinded by the light. Unbelievable. Isn't it cool when people talk about their songs? River of Dreams. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. I just read about Bruce being part of a group called Steel Mill. They played in San Francisco for Elvin Bishop. The group was paid $5 for their performance. I always wondered what happened to that guitarist. Um, I promoted two rock concerts. One was ELO. The other was Wishbone Ash, and the opening act was Joe Walsh, who had just left the James Gang before he joined the Eagles. I paid him 750 bucks in 1974. Boom. Journey. Yeah, this, look, come on. This is so cool. I, I love, I love when people, if you haven't, what instrument, I would play lead guitar in a heartbeat. Excel at the basics, maybe drums, but you know, I watched Ginger Baker, I watched John Bonham, I watched some of the most amazing drummers on the planet play. And I'm just in awe. I just, I love watching Knopfler play guitar. I, I love watching um, the, the great lead guitar players of the world play. <laughs> James Burton, come on, unbelievable players. Good morning, go pack go, <laughs> exactly. Procrastination is the assassin of opportunity. 
and the destroyer of youthful ideas. Oh, wow. Home Savings Bank. Wow. Come on. Where's the copy of it? Let's see if I can find it somewhere. Thanks. Email me, jeffrey at gitmer.com. Keith, I would love to see that. I would totally love to see that ad. Boom. Sending it out there. Let's see what happens. Dan? My mom worked for a ticket agent. I always had great seats. When I was 16, I had stage passes to see Hendrix. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Exactly. Exactly. Nate? How's it going, bud? Piano man. Nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. Yeah, Purdue. Some people get heavy metal out of their body. Some people get it in their eardrums. Learning about client music. Exactly. I love the Stones. You know, the Rolling Stones opened their concerts with Under My Thumb for years. It is arguably Sympathy for the Devil and Under My Thumb. Unbelievable Rolling Stones. That's cool. That's totally cool. I'm glad when you guys get together. Yep. ELP, ELO. Cool. Cool. I mean, I've seen ELO in concert a dozen times live. Me sitting in the front of the stage. I mean, they gave they. I had privilege, and I. My rock and roll fantasies have been lived. You know, seen Little Richard, seen ELO. <laughs> Oh, my God. Seen Elvis twice. Skinny Elvis and Fat Elvis. Looking for some advice in this first live session. I've had time to be on. Nathan, whatever you need, just throw it out there. We'll try to help. Come to join the Insiders Club if you need advice. Gitmer.com slash Insiders Club. Go there. You invest to get in, but you can get all the advice you need. Not from me, from everybody. Just got go live. Reading it this weekend. Way to go, honey. This is it. This is, you know, the, the groove of Go Live, and I, I let my publisher have it yesterday. The groove of Go Live is right there, and they don't do shit. They wait for things to happen. And I, I didn't stick my foot all the way up their ass, but, man, I came close. Um, let's go here. Boom. Oh, wait, let me send this now. Let me send this to Zach also. Unbelievable what they what, unbelievable what they do and what they don't do. Ha! <sighs> exactly. You know the doors. One time I saw them. Unreal. Roadhouse Blues. Boom 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 boom. I'm just saying. Love the version of the letter by Joe Cocker. I'm playing and listening to music all my life. Exactly. Exactly. Look, just look, look what it brings out. Look what look what this has brought out in people. Unbelievable. I think it's important now to just groove on what you groove on. Wow. Wow. What are all these things doing here? I'm going to try to get a couple more groups in. Archie Bell and the Drells. Now you're talking. Love Teddy Pendergrass. Don't leave me this way. I did a radio show, an oldies radio show with Jocko Henderson. Google Jocko Henderson. And see, to see he's the grandfather of rap music. But Jocko was like my dad. And we had a Sunday night radio show in Philadelphia. that we, It was just an absolute classic. And he... And Teddy Pendergrass were friends, and we would open up the show with Don't Leave Me This Way. Baby. Oh, my God. It's so good. Such a good song. It's by Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Philly should have been. I agree. I totally agree. But Truthful Living, Napoleon Hill, just go get it. Toru, great gold record room. Thank you, Toru. 
morning. Help me at Gittimer is always up. Try it. Help me at help me at Gittimer.com. Help me at Gittimer.com. Hold on, I'll give it to you right now. Uh, boom, right there. See it? Email it. Anything you need, you go, we we go right back and get it for you. <clears throat> There's so many things. Bradley has something to say. Today, open my eyes, we said optimistic, the Optimist Creed. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. Listening to the Victoria LaBomb, I'm telling you what. Go for it. Crank up some tunes and dance with the missus. Way to go. Way to go back. Way to go. Root. This word muse. Muse meaning absorbed in thought. Wow. Wow. Very, very well done, Eric. Thank you. Let's see who we got here. Jimmy Page. Yeah, too, too cool for school. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable player. But I'm a Nuffler guy. Should watch. Go down that rabbit hole. Just go down that rabbit hole. Wow, my guitar leaps. Yeah, yeah. Um, you should watch the tribute to that. It's unreal. Change going to come, San Cook. Oh, yeah. Steve Winwood. Well, I saw Steve Winwood twice. Um, unreal. I'm, I'm thinking of other concerts that I went to that were absolutely memorable. I saw Dave Edmonds in a very small hall. Guy could rockabilly. I mean, just the greatest. Yeah, Blind Faith is awesome. I agree. Isn't it cool? Michael Jackson and Russia Tour. We saw in Philly, I took Stacy and Erica and Rebecca to see Madonna. One concert, 100,000 people. And Michael Jackson, 100,000 people. And we were in the fifth or sixth row because my buddy, Jack, um, Jack Walsh, got us tickets. I mean, we were in the front. You turn around, there's like a sea of humanity behind you. And we could see those concerts like we were right on top of them. Yeah, there are too many. Or way too many. Bill, listen to Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Marley to Chopin, gospel to funk, whatever the soul calls for. I agree, April. Um, you should go watch the uh, Rick Beato um, on YouTube. Rick Beato is, is unbelievable. But he does a thing on Bach. He's this rocking guy, and he does a thing on how cool Bach was. Just watch it. It's just watch it. Um, Steve Winwood, Eric Clapton. Yeah. Can't find my way home. Yep. I just love that song. I just love that song. It's so soulful. It's so soulful. See people who look at <laughs> unbelievable what people do. Crazy diamond. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. If I need a current task, I think Floyd has an amazing history. You should watch it. Live music, YouTube. One of my favorites, the good friends of Steve Winwood and Dave Mason. My wife and I have had the privilege of spending a bit of time with him. Uh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I saw Alice Cooper one time in an elevator. I told him how fucking cool I thought he was. He goes, well, thanks. I said, no, no. Anyone who's a friend of Groucho Marx, and they were great friends, by the way. Anyone who's a friend of Groucho Marx, at my deepest respect. Oh, and by the way, you're a pretty good musician. <laughs> he was howling. He was absolutely howling. Yeah. Oh, American Pie. Simon and Garfield. 50, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> I will figure a way. Thank you very much. Family go to Sinatra. Of course. This is so good. This video violates the group's policies. Was please remove. Oh my God! Bye. <laughs> oh wow. Forty-one thirty-three. Jimmy, how's it going, Bub? Langley City Racetrack, five miles away from my grandfather and father's motel, the Sunset Motel. Still there. Words trigger picture. Yeah. 
I'm going to tell you that. This is very good. But there's something about the sound. There's just something about the sound that's undeniable, the sound of music. It just, it, it's your soul. It's your total soul. All right, I'm sending that to myself. Billy Joel. Yeah. Billy Joel literally was promoted in Philadelphia by a disc jockey who's no longer here, named Ed Shockey. ELO, The Move, and Billy Joel were this guy's with total groove. And one day when ELO was in Philly, we went to the Mike Douglas show and I got to go with them. The co-host that day was Albert Brooks. Oh my God. It's like my Jesus of comedy. And Ed Shockey walked in because he loved the group so much. Yep. See how, much, how quickly you can remember? I didn't have anything for Albert Brooks to sign. I, I had him sign a hundred dollar bill and then I, I needed to spend it. So somebody has that out there. Yeah, rock and roll is king. Yep. Phil Collins had two drum sets. He played for solid. Yep. Yep. Everybody has their group. Fleetwood Mac. No problem. Your post was reported to admin. It violates group policies. Please remove. Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. True legend, Phil Collins. We have a home pod in our showroom. Ask for potential purchasers. Who's your favorite musician? Oh, and we play. Oh, cool. Cool. Very well done. That's great, Ron. That is really, really great. Because people are bopping around. Uh, when you hear the music that you love, it's a whole, a whole different experience. Because it's, it's, oh, cool. Love that, buddy. That is first class advice to anybody. That's great. That's really, really great. Send that to myself. How about that good one? Country roads. Who's three dollars at the electric factory? Yeah, who three dollars at the electric? Yeah, I saw them there. Elton John, electric factory. The Kinks, electric factory. What a what a great musical venue. I like hashtags because they look like waffles. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. One of the great performances I saw was Buddy Guy doing his song, Damn Right I Got the Blues. Wow. 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 See these things? Bunny Carlos Cheap Tricks. Yeah. I saw a Cheap Trick one night. They were so damn good. And Nielsen's throwing out all his guitar picks. I mean, they're just a great, great live group. Prince, awesome concert. Skinner, here comes the sun. Oh, cool. Jerry Garcia in his last concert. Oh, cool. Skinner, this is amazing. This is amazing. Played keyboards for the drifters, the coasters. And, oh, wow. I'm a sales guy to support my music habit. Way to go, Skinner. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Very memorable. Yep. All right. Well, it looks like I've sparked something here because I'm three minutes over. Um, but let's just go and... Have a good time today. I work with the great Norman Petty of Buddy Holly fame, a great producer and a wonderful, talented man. Also recorded the Fireballs. You know, nothing like Buddy Holly. I've been to Leonard Skinner. Isn't that cool? You remember everything. Peter Frampton, great guitarist, yeah. I flew on an airplane one night, uh, late at night, hardly anybody on the plane. And I'm sitting on the aisle and I, I look over and I go, you play guitar? He goes, yeah. I said, are you Frampton? And we just talked for a couple of hours about how he does what he does. Van, Van Morrison, oh my God, Wavelength on Saturday Night Live was one of the best live performances ever. 
check it out. All right, enough rock and roll for the night. Bach is the patron saint of bass players. <laughs> oh my God, that's so interesting. That's true though. Rick Beato videos are awesome. If you love music, the guy does some, he's unreal. He's, the, he's a genius, total genius. And the people he recommends are off the chart. All right, I'm gonna leave this, Alonzo. This is gonna be my closer today. Uh, thank you guys very much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9.59. Great Saturday, prayerful Sunday. Let's go for Monday. Get ready. World's going to rock. See you.